This is the Redmi A1, a 6500 rupees or 80 dollar smartphone from Redmi. So, of course, the key points where a company cuts down the price is cameras. And yes, this phone also has average cameras. But let's go a little deep now. The Redmi A1 comes with an 8MP primary camera paired with 0.3MP secondary camera for depth sensing. And for selfies, it has 5MP shooter. Also on the videos, it can go up to a maximum of 1080p 30fps and considering the price, this is fair enough. Let's look at the samples now. Okay, so this is a normal shot that's pointing towards the sky and overall it looks decent. There are some decent details, but basically don't expect great quality. It's an 8 megapixel camera, so yeah, it's not high resolution. Now zooming in, there is definitely noise in the shot, but still it's not bad. Even here, I see the colors look really good. But basically these photos are taken under very very good sunlight. So whenever there is a lot of light, the camera sensor has a chance to pull that light inside to output a detailed image. And that's what is happening here. So the images actually look good. One thing I somehow liked on the smartphone is it doesn't oversaturate images and make them look punchy. This is actually a known thing that happens in budget and ultra budget phones. Companies just try to produce punchier photos to make them look more appealing to eyes and to bump up the sales. So I respect Redmi for not doing such things. Even when I compared it with Gcam, the colors were mostly similar. Okay, now moving to portraits, the edge detection was not so good and the overall image was just okay. Dynamic range is also very average on this phone. I mean when it captures, it captures a very good shot. But most of the times, it overblows the image and makes everything white. Even when it comes to selfies, it's bad. This is how it looks under normal sunlight and see how everything behind me is white? It doesn't look good. Now moving to the night shots, this is the greatest part. This phone does not have a night mode. I mean this is the first phone in years that I am seeing without a night mode. So yeah, these are the samples. First of all, I don't think there is anything to talk about here. The pictures have very less details and they look pretty bad. And I really feel that Redmi should have included a night mode in the app. I don't see a reason to skip night mode. Now moving to videos, the quality is just average. It can go up to 1080p 30fps and this is the sample. So as you can observe, it doesn't have any stabilization as such. And basically at this price, we can't really complain. So yeah, according to my opinion, it is usable for taking occasional videos decide as for that so that's it with the review people hope you found some value out of it and if you did mention it in the comment section below and that really motivates also if you have any suggestions for the videos the comment section is always open so yeah go ahead and comment and thank you really thanks for watching i hope to see you in my upcoming videos